I, I might have mentioned earlier, I forget, but there are 15 poses. Um, you can go through all of them, even this sitting pose here. This video is sponsored by G Portal. I host my servers with them and you can too. Save 5% with the link in the description. Subscribe for more Valheim. Hey everybody. I recently discovered something really cool that's in the game that's kind of hidden, a secret, something they added when they added armor stands to the game, I'm guessing. I haven't seen it before this, but because I run a lot of events on my servers, sort of like a dungeon master, I run all kinds of events. I go through a lot of the game code. I use a lot of mods so that I can create interesting things for my players. Well, I recently discovered these. Check these out. It's called armor stand. There's like a female body and a male body. And as you can see, I've got them all in different posable positions. Cause if you look right here, there's a little button right there at the bottom. And if you click it, it changes their position. Isn't that pretty cool. Now there are 15 different positions for these uh, bodies. And I can show you here real quick. So they're standing here with their arms kind of out to the side. Uh, the second position, they raise them up here, then close to the side, then uh, one hand up like it's waving. And then this looks like the, um, like, uh, the uh, crafting station position. Um, maybe like they're stirring or cooking something. Um, I don't know, maybe that's like uh, the two-handed hammer getting ready to slam or something. Hands on the hips. Like, I've had enough of this business. Um, this one, I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe he's got a really good poker hand and he's getting ready to show it. This one looks like um, maybe they're showing a really nice apple that they picked or something. Or holding up their drinking mug. This one, he's, he's definitely ready to give somebody the business. Look at that. <laughs> oh, this one is doing the thumbs up. This one, it, this actually looks like the position that may, when we get hit, we kind of get knocked back. Um, but kind of like looking up to the gods, ah, shout, a big shout or something. And, you know, just like I'm in the walking position. I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Um, so... It's, it's pretty interesting that these are in the game. I wonder if these are just some kind of a testing thing or if um, these were maybe going to be the original uh, dummies uh, or the, I mean, sorry, the armor stands. Uh, let me show you uh, what happens when you equip them. So they have um, items you can put on their body, but they also have items you can put into the right hand or the left hand. So I'm going to stick... Uh, Frostner, look at that. He holds it. That's nothing like the current armor stand that we have where it just, it mounts to the back of the character or of the armor stand. And here's a shield. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, right? And then you just click the body for the rest of the pieces. There's the helmet. There's the legs. Now I saved the chest piece for last because there's actually a problem with the chest piece uh, for whatever reason. Maybe they haven't finished it uh, or it's bugged. But because when you put the chest piece on, um, there's no, there's no, um, nothing covering the chest exactly. Kind of weird. Let me show you what I mean, though, with another chest plate. So if I take all these off and I put this chest piece on, look at that. The actual chest is not covered. I don't know why. Some kind of bug or something. Uh, let's see. Oh I, oh, I didn't put a cape on him. There we go. You can add a cape too. Pretty cool. Uh, there's the pants. And just to show you the difference between the uh, iron armor chest plate, when I put it on, you can see uh, it's got the uh, metal uh, scales there, the metal pieces in between the straps, but at least this has the strap on it if you want to use the uh, iron chest plate. So that's that's why I chose that because at least it looks like it's maybe more of a gladiator look with a bare chest, but at least it has some straps going over it. So there's the legs again and well, let's see, there's the cape. And uh, 
think I showed you the uh, hood. Let me just put my Odin hood on it. Uh, there you go. Pretty cool. Now this would be really awesome if you like we were people have been talking about taking the armor stands and putting them you know around as decor decorative things with the armor on maybe even to look like guards or a shopkeeper or something but with these you could actually I mean you could have a blacksmith you know looking thing at your blacksmith or you know maybe you choose one, any one of these poses for for different things um, of course, you have to enable dev commands and you spawn them in. And so the uh, spawn command is uh, spawn uh, armor uh, stand and then underscore male or female. And that's how you get that to spawn into the game like that. Uh, yeah. But OK, so let me show you something. I'm going to take all this stuff back. Okay, and so you can put uh, things into their hands uh, even when they're posed here. So you just have to target, like here you can target all the way down to the hand or any part of the arm. But here when you target the hands, you can't really get it. So you just kind of go up to the body there and then there you go, you can target it. And there you go, check that out. Of course, you might want to find something more appropriate for them to hold depending on the uh, position that they're in. So uh, let's try a couple of different um, things that they might hold. Uh, this one, yeah, I, I don't know. Mm, maybe not so much for that one either, unless they're like holding two shields. Here, let's put another uh, banded shield. What do we we'll do? A red one this time, and we'll put that one in that. Nope, nope, in that hand right. Oh, it doesn't fit. Oh, so it follows uh, the rules of uh, the player. Like, let, here, let me go over to this training dummy. So the left arm, I'm going to try to give him the hammer. He can hold it there. And then if I can put in the hammer there, let me get that back. Then I'll put the shield there. No. He doesn't want the shield in his right hand. So there you go. No shield in the right hand, but shield in the left hand. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I guess that's, that's how it wants it. And you can put the hammer in either hand. Let's see. Can he hold two weapons? What do I have? Let me give him a pick, uh, pick. Oh, there you go. So for whatever reason, he won't hold a shield in his right hand, but, uh, he will hold weapons or tools or whatever in either hand. So you can be holding two things. Let's see what other interesting things I might be able to do. So this guy's already punching. I wonder if this one will hold the tankard. Let's see. Oh, yep. There you go. Look at that. That would make a really great bar patron right there. <laughs> if you've got a tavern or something. Um, oh, this one. I was wondering if this one would hold the two-handed hammer. Let's see, can I target the arm on this? Oh, yeah, right there. So then I click that. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Kind of looks like he's getting ready to give somebody the business with that two-hander. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you can find something to make it look like this one's stirring a pot or something. And of course, this one, of course, you want to give this one a, uh, oh, armor stand back. Would you see that? I just saw that here. Armor stand right arm. There's the um, the hammer. Okay, let's go over to our standard dummy here. Stand back weapon and a little bit to the right is stand back shield. So, oh, yep. Of course, look, the shield lost its style, just like with the armor stands that we currently have. And then we're going to do stand back weapon and then stand back shield. There you go. So you can get the armor or the weapon and the shield onto the back. And then, of course, you should be able to equip it again here so it can wear stuff on the back and it can hold stuff. I, I might have mentioned earlier, I forget, but there are 15 poses. Um, you can go through all of them, even this sitting pose here. So that's pretty interesting. If you want like an audience, they even kind of uh, cover up the little stand that they're on a little bit. But anyways, yeah, I thought these were really cool. And on my servers, you can see in the background there, I got some cool stuff that I might talk about in other videos, but uh, a lot of the admin spawnable things 
that uh, might be really fun for the players to have, but they can't uh, make themselves. I have a special hall doors shop set up on my servers where they can uh, purchase some of these uh, items from the uh, hall door shop. They use in-game coins and uh, there's a little uh, uh, premium uh, fee for my time uh, in, in just a couple of bucks uh, donation via PayPal. And then I deliver some of these uh, admin spawnable items. So these are already in my hall door shop for anybody on my server who's interested and anybody who wants to play on my server, you can just check out the discord link in the description and come check out uh, my server application there. Talk to the community. We've got over 80 players and everybody's having a great time, but yeah, check this out. Have some fun. Uh, you know, uh, if you like using admin commands or you just want to give it a try, I mean, you don't have to use admin commands to do any other like cheats or anything in the game. You can just, uh, do your um, your posable armor stand uh, male and female models uh, help populate your town or whatever it is you want to do with them and then turn admin uh, dev commands off and get back to playing in the legitimate survival mode but, or, or do whatever you like to do play the game the way you like to play it alright that's it for now have fun out there I'd like to give a huge shout out to my supporters, some of them on Patreon, the YouTube membership, and the ones who help boost our Discord server. Your support means the world to me and inspires me to make more videos, as well as run a community Discord and multiple Valheim gaming servers. If you enjoy my videos and would like to support my work, join our friendly Discord community and Valheim servers, links can be found in the description below. Skull.